Public drug use has exploded in San Francisco, and now a city supervisor is demanding action. He's calling on the city's health department to declare a public health crisis and come up with an emergency response plan. For more now, I'm joined by Supervisor Matt Haney, who represents the Tenderloin, Soma, and Mid Market. And Supervisor, uh, you seem very frustrated. Tell me what this emergency declaration would do. Well, we have a, a terrible drug crisis on the streets of San Francisco, especially downtown in the Tenderloin and Soma. It's absolutely uh, ravaging our, our neighborhoods, and uh, we need an emergency response. Um, this is not only something that is terrible for the residents and for our small businesses, but it's actually the most deadly epidemic in San Francisco right now. Um, we had 259 people die of drug overdoses last year. Um, those numbers are going up this year, and we need an emergency response. Um, this is not a time that we can just have businesses as usual. Um, we need to make sure that the Department of Public Health is responding um, with a level of urgency that I think our residents are experiencing. Okay, so what do you want uh, the Department of Public Health and other officials to do? Uh, what does this emergency response look like to you? Yeah. So we're declaring a public health crisis because of the drug use, because of the drug overdoses, and demanding the, a emergency response plan. That would include street outreach. Uh, right now, folks are using drugs openly on the street. Uh, very little uh, outreach to those folks. Actual plan to get people into treatment, to make sure people have access to Narcan. When people do overdose, how are we making sure that we're getting them into treatment? Uh, ensuring that folks are receiving that outreach on the street, but that also that they have places to go for detox and drop-in. Uh, right now, there's just business as usual, and there's a crisis on our streets, and we're not seeing the level of emergency response that's needed. One part of your plan, Supervisor, is stepped-up enforcement. Mayor London Breed um, said that arrests, in fact, are being made, but that current sentencing practices don't deter drug sellers. I want you to take a listen to what she told you and your fellow supervisors. Sadly, what we know is happening right now, people are arrested and they are released and there are no consequences. And so part of it is, I believe in criminal justice reform, I believe in a second chance, but there has to get to a point where there has to be accountability. All right, would you like to see harsher penalties for drug dealers? Well, what is clear is that we, our city doesn't have a plan right now. Um, in addition to this public health crisis, I've launched a street-level drug dealing task force, actually getting our district attorney together with our police, together with experts, together with folks in the community, and saying, what is our comprehensive plan? If we're arresting folks, what, sh what should happen at that point so that we could get people and keep people out of going back into drug dealing? What sort of diversion, rehabilitation, and yes, effective consequences need to be a part of that. I think one of the things that we're seeing is that there's very little coordination across uh, our city departments. There isn't a unified plan. It's just police out there doing one thing, DA doing something else. And so one of the things that I'd really like to see, and I'd love to have the mayor's support and assistance with this, is actually getting our departments to work together and to have a comprehensive plan to disrupt the status quo. Because what's happening out there, not just with drug use, but the, the, the widespread drug dealing 24 hours a day with impunity is absolutely unacceptable for especially for the residents I represent. Uh, yeah, I know that you follow the Tenderloin Police Station. Uh, they tweet daily about their attempts to address drug use. Uh, just a few days ago, the station tweeted that officers arrested four people for selling cocaine, meth, and heroin, and, and supervisor three of them were already on felony probation. And just a few days before that, a man was arrested there in the TL with 61 bindles of fentanyl, cocaine, heroin, and meth. It's his third open case for dealing in the Tenderloin. Yeah, I mean, we have to address the, the drug use side of this, and we also have to address the drug dealing and the, and the supply. Um, it's unacceptable to have this containment zone strategy where people are allowed to deal drugs with impunity, especially in the Tenderloin and Soma. Um, my constituents are furious. Um, so am I, and that needs to change. And a part of that is more effective consequences. A part of that is making sure we're coordinating. You know, a lot of these folks will end up on probation. How do you make sure that they're actually providing effective oversight so they don't just go right back out there and sell again? Um, these are the kind of things that I think our city, sadly, has not been taken seriously, especially when it comes to neighborhoods like the Tenderloin and Soma. All right, Supervisor Matt Haney will be following this story and, and check in with you to see if and when the city does come up with a comprehensive plan. Thank you.